Yo, what's up guys, got another great Rocket League tip for you today that'll hopefully improve your game. But before that, quick word from the sponsor of today's video. AOEA allows you to buy and sell Rocket League items at great prices. Whichever platform you're on, you can find that last item to finish off your preset. Use code VMN at checkout for a discount. And I'll leave the link to AOEA down in the description, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so something we can recognize here. Straight off for the kickoff. Um, so we get bad news goes for kickoff. And uh, we know that... I'm going to pronounce that name horribly. Is it is G Giru? I'll just call him Gyro. That's probably yeah, that, that works. Yeah, he goes by that stuff. Alright, so Gyro gets 100 boost. I think this is probably Gyro's ball to contest, like if he goes up the wall. But since he doesn't contest this, we kind of have to just like react to what's happening on the pitch, right? So as soon as he okay. comes back, if he's not challenging this ball on the wall, we need to think about like getting aggressive on this somehow, because as soon as he doesn't go for this, this is what's going to cause the bunch up, right? Your teammate after kickoff is obviously going to rotate around and get boost, and Gyro after the kickoff is going to challenge for this boost here, right? Yeah. So if he doesn't get this boost, or if he does get this boost, I think he got it this time. If he doesn't go for this, which he should, then what's going to happen is these guys are going to swoop in and they're going to get this free possession, right? That's going to be pretty big for them. And it's going to give, like, we're giving them a lot of space here for free. Okay. So if you stay okay. back, then all the space is free. And this is just kind of on you to recognize, like, if you want to take ownership of this problem, instead of for Gyro taking ownership. Yeah. It's kind of on you to recognize that you have now become the first man. Because Gyro has decided to come back instead of challenging. So just in some way or fashion, you need to apply pressure and try and cut off space here. You can either do it by okay. driving on the wall. What I might do is I might go on the ceiling just because you're in an awkward position. And what that's going to do is it's going to force the opponents to take a low ball towards both of your teammates on the ground, right? You might make it a bit more readable and a bit more, you know, easier in defense for your teammates. I mean, you yeah. can still low ball anyway, so, you know. But you could probably like double jump down and challenge this, you know? Okay. Yeah. So a lot, a lot of it's just like recognizing a mistake from your teammates and then sorting it as fast as possible to make sure you don't end up bunching up in goal like you do here, right? Because now all three of you are sitting here and they've had all this space for free. Yeah. Yeah. 